Hello, in this video we're going to look at the economics of common resources. A common resource is a resource that is rival in consumption and non-excludable. What does rival mean? It's where one person's use of a resource decreases its consumption by other people. Fish in the ocean, for example. When one person catches fish, there are fewer fish for other people to catch. A common resource will also have this property of being non-excludable. People cannot be prevented from using a resource. Once again, fish in the ocean gives an example. Given the ocean size, it is difficult to prevent people from catching fish. With common resources, you have the problem of the commons. Common resources are overused and depleted because individuals who use the resource don't consider their use reduces the quantity available to others. Individuals only consider their private benefit of consumption and ignore that they create a negative externality by reducing the quantity available to others. Let's define the sustainable total fish catch by the following equation where F equals the total sustainable fish catch. B is the number of fishing boats. Let's find the maximum total sustainable fish catch. We're going to find where the marginal sustainable fish catch is zero. We'll take the derivative of this equation with respect to the number of boats. Set that result equal to zero because we're maximizing. So the derivative of 100b is 100, and the derivative of minus 0.5b squared is just minus b. We're going to solve this equation now for b. So moving b over to the right-hand side, b equals 100. And if we plug 100 for 100 boats into our total sustainable fish catch equation, we have a number of 5,000. So the total sustainable fish, fish catch is 5,000. If the number of boats exceeds 100, there will be an overfishing problem. Let's say that the marginal cost of a fishing boat is equivalent to 10 fish, or MC equals 10. What is the equilibrium number of boats and total sustainable catch? We're going to find where the marginal private benefit of a fishing boat equals the marginal cost. The marginal private benefit is the fish caught per boat, or F divided by B. And the idea here is that fishermen will use a boat if the number of fish caught is at least 10, which is the marginal cost. So here is our total sustainable fish catch equation. We divide it through by B, and we get the following equation. I'm going to represent the marginal private benefit. So we'll set 100 minus 0.5 B equal to the marginal cost. And we'll solve for the number of fishing boats, and here we get 180. This clearly then is an overfishing equilibrium. B exceeds 100. What is the efficient number of boats? We're going to find where the marginal social benefit equals the marginal cost. The marginal social benefit is the marginal sustainable catch, which is the change in the total sustainable catch by adding one more fishing boat. So we're going to take this equation here, and we're going to take the derivative of it with respect to B. That'll be our marginal social benefit. And now we're going to set that equal to the marginal cost and solve for B, and we get 90 fishing boats. We plug that into our sustainable fish catch equation, and we get 4,950 fish. If the marginal cost of fishing was zero, the efficient number of boats and the sustainable catch would be 105,000. But since there's a positive marginal cost to fishing, uh, we're going to get something a little bit less than 5,000. Some solutions to the common resource problem. Private property. Property owners have an incentive to not overutilize the resource and to make appropriate investments to sustain and improve the resource. Wireless carriers and TV broadcasters use the frequency spectrum that is auctioned off by the government, granting the license holder exclusive use to that part of the spectrum. 
It would be difficult to assign property rights in some cases, like oceans, because of the exorbitant cost of enforcing thousands of square miles of ocean. Some other solutions are a quota or other quota type limits. This may help reduce consumption and bring a more efficient use of the resource. Requiring the purchase of a fishing license to catch fish, limiting the length of the fishing season, restricting the number and size of fish that can be caught are examples. Individual transferable quotas, another example, a production limit that the government assigns to a person that can be resold and transferred to others. Nevertheless, there still are some problems. Uh, there's still an incentive to cheat and catch more fish than allowed. All right, that's it.